since last April, so it's about a year now. I was born and raised in China, and I came to Canada to pursue my post-secondary education. I think my best memory would be when I got my chickens. <laughs> yeah, so I've always wanted to live in a large live on a large piece of land, have like a semi self-sustainable um, lifestyle. So when I got my chicken and got my first egg, it's like a dream come true moment. I moved from Romania in 2008. We came with a job opportunity for whatever it's supposed to be six months, one year, and ended up to be a whole life. I have the children who went to schools and they they finished the school on a really good terms. They they follow post secondary schools and they were successful and that was important to me. That made me feel really proud. Like I've done something good in my life. I was able to put them on the right path. That was good. And I'm not gonna forget about the day when um, I become Canadian. That was a that was a very big relief and a very big achievement because because it meant a lot. I'm born and raised in New Brunswick. Uh, never thought I'd, I'd have an opportunity to live in St. Andrews, but uh, this opportunity arose and uh, we grabbed it and moved. It, it, and it's never a, a moment of regret. It's been wonderful. We, we've purchased a, an historic home here in uh, in Charlotte County, and uh, we're looking at, at fixing it up, and it's that probably be the most memorable moment of, of sort of then knowing we've got our our roots set, and at this point we're planning on being here forever. For my whole life, I wanted to see something new. I really like to like um, see new countries, uh, meet new people. I think this is the best thing that you can do to yeah, horizon is growing, you know. So yeah. And um, so I wanted to um, make an exchange here with a good friend from school, and um, so I have I have different moments. But um, we were we have, were like in her car, we had like rock music on, and we were like both um, singing as loud as we can. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I hope nobody heard us. But <laughs> I've met a lot of people along the way, but the caliber of people that we met here were different. You're a little more open. Their hearts were there on their sleeves and, and you knew what you were getting when you talked to these people. For example, before we found this property or before we got the property, we were down around uh, Black's Harbor in that area uh, and we met this man who was working on his lobster traps. And we were standing there talking and I was asking him about land around the area and, and a place where we could stay for the night and everything. And he, what struck me the most was there were these mosquitoes all over the place around him and me. And he was batting them away from me as opposed to himself. And I go, wow, <laughs> like, I mean, I've never had that. Most people take care of themselves as opposed to taking care of somebody else. would be don't be afraid to talk to anyone on the street people are friendly and generally willing to help so reach out to anyone when you when you are in need of help people who come on St. George should expect to see lots of smiley faces that's a common but if you really want to to make connection and to see more than what the area has to offer you have to get involved Nothing will happen. You are not going to learn anything. You are not going to meet people. You are not going to see things happening around you if you stay in your home. The, uh, the advice that I usually suggest to any newcomers is to, is to take their time and do the research. And uh, don't make the assumption that you're moving from one city to another city. Uh, I also uh, suggest to them in doing their research is to understand that you're not going to have, you may not have the, the nightlife you're used to, or you might not have uh, a lot of the fast food places that you might be used to. 
um, you won't have the public transportation that you might be used to. However, I also talk about the very, very positive thing of, about the safety, the, the wonderful uh, events that go on here, the things that they can participate in, and, uh, and to, to really, for them to take their time to understand what is out there, reach out and, and uh, uh, talk to a lot of people, get involved, and give it a shot. And, um, you know, a lot of times we have a lot of people that want to stay in this community. When it comes to um, hard situations, to bad situations, to never give up. So, you know, like every day is a new day and to stand up and to try the best to make out of it. Yeah, I think that's it. I am still struggling, so I don't know if I can give the best advice, but yeah. Treat everybody as you want to be treated. I think that's that's a rule that should apply anywhere you are. Um, doesn't matter if you're down here or not, but it doesn't always happen that way. But you're going to run into people that are good. You're going to run into people that are excellent. You're going to run into people that are on the opposite end. And life's like that. Take it for what it's worth. Stick to the ones that are in the excellent, the good category. Forget the rest. <laughs>